Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. I had a viewer request some efficiency tests on my Triplite 1000 watt sine wave inverter charger. So I've picked a number of loads that I could find. I tried to stick to as close to purely resistive loads as I could get so that we don't have power factor entering in. So just to show you some of the devices I have, I've got uh, three LED lights that total about 23 watts. Then I have a good old 100 watt incandescent bulb. And I have a 150 watt infrared heat lamp. Really old hair dryer here. The style setting's about 385 watts and the dry setting is about 725. My last load here is my heat gun. It says 1100 watts on the label. That's about what it starts up at and then once it warms up it drops to around 1050. So what we'll do here will be the AC watts and then up on the top here are the DC amps going from my battery bank into the inverter and then on the side here is my uh, trimetric battery monitor and I've got it set to read the volts at the battery bank. The only thing that's not being read with that meter is there is a, a 200 amp shunt between the meter and the inverter that is generating the current reading up there. So that's a, I think it's a 50 millivolt shunt this meter here only reads down to tenths of a volt, so we'll basically ignore the the shunt voltage. So right now I've got the inverter running, and this is the, the no load current. This inverter has three different modes that it can operate in. The first mode is purely as an inverter only. Down here, if we go up, you can see 119.3. 0 amps, 0 watts, 0 volt amps, 60 hertz. It has a second mode that you can set on the inverter where it goes into a search mode and what it does there is it cycles on and off every couple of seconds. What that does is if it detects a load greater than the threshold within the on period, it turns on to this mode here where it's on continuous otherwise it just cycles in that searching mode and in that mode it uses whatever the duty cycle is times that standby current then the third mode is you can plug the inverter charger cord into the wall and it will pull current out of the grid and run it through the transfer switch and out to your load and in that mode it basically doesn't use any current on the DC side I think it's like 50 milliamps or, and then in that mode it's working kind of like a UPS and only if the grid goes down within a 60th of a second it will transfer over to the inverter and then you'll jump up to uh, this mode. What I'll do for the test is I'll run through these various loads. So this is three 8 watt LED bulbs, uh, 23 watts. It's using about 4.3 amps and we're at 13.5 volts. So let's unplug that and then I'll switch over to my 100 watt bulb here. We have the typical 100 watt bulb. Looks like it's about 98 on this meter. And we're taking about 10 amps input. We're at 13.4 volts on the battery. So there is that one. Let me let the light bulb cool down and I'll put in my 150 watt heat lamp go that gets us up to 148 149 watts and we're using 13.3 volts and 13 almost 14 amps so let's switch to the next load here 
Okay, I've got my blow dryer here. This is the style setting, which is low. It looks like we're doing about 385 watt, 13.2 volts, about 35 amps. And you can see now one of the things that happens is when you go to the higher load, you can hear the fan on the inverter running. And so that's burning up about one amp or 13 watts of power. At low loads, you don't need the fan. So now I'm going to run the blow dryer on the dry setting, which is high. 725 watts, 71, 72 amps, 12.7 volts. And then for the last one here, I'll take my heat gun. Here's the high setting. And you can hear the inverter beeping because we're actually a little bit over a thousand watts, 1,040 to 1,050. We've pulled the battery down to 12.2 and 120 amps of DC. So it looks like the maximum percentage is around the 385 watt. What I might do is I'll try running the hair dryer on low with the 100 watt bulb, which should give us right around 500 watts. Okay, here I've plugged in the 100 watt light bulb, and then I'm gonna turn on the hair dryer onto style here. 485 watts, 45 amps, 13 volts. Maybe I can run one with the heat lamp, which would put us a little over 500 watts, so maybe I'll try that real quick. Okay, so we've got the heat lamp running right around 150 watts, and then I'm going to turn on the blow dryer on low. 535 watts, right at 50 amps, and 12.9 volts. Looks like right uh, short of 84% is kind of the maximum efficiency. So yeah, I'll show you what this looks like on a spreadsheet a little later here, and uh, we'll wrap this video up. 